Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today I'll be teaming up with Eunice Wig to bring you this beautiful silky straight lace wig. Look at the sheen, look at the texture, look how beautiful and silky she is. She's giving all the vibes. The weather is finally warming up and this is definitely one to have. And the bonus for me personally is that she is a closure wig. Now I love a good closure wig because when it's like I got 10 to 15 minutes to get ready, a closure wig is going to get me right. I don't need a stylist or anything like that. I can do it from home. And today I went ahead and recorded this video to show you how I installed this wig straight out of the box. You guys can see we have the parting, it's bust down middle part, it's closure so we're not going to show the sides but you can see the baby here and how melted we got this one. And it's very very simple and minimal as far as the products and the styling. If you're a beginner or even intermediate this is definitely a video for you so without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video jumping right into it but before we get started with the installation process i just wanted to take a quick moment of appreciation to share with you how this one fits glueless so you're going to see me unbox install and style this way from start to finish i am going to use a hairspray to bond it down just to get it a little bit more melted but you guys can see here with no adhesive attached you can definitely wear this one glueless and I I definitely have been throughout the week now let's get into the installation process step one for me is going to be to just push my edges back I am using the edge control from bdacbd.com it's linked in the description box and I like to just make sure my edges are completely out of the way no matter what's going on I want to make sure they're not interfering with the style and just everything is clean Next, I'm going to go ahead and just tint my wig cap. I prefer it when the wig cap matches my lace or my skin. This is just going to help for a more flawless install. And this is what the wig looks like straight out of the box. So this one is very, very unique. We have a silky straight lace wig, but it's just not any one. This one is actually pre-cut, so you don't have any lace attached at all. This is a straight air wig in the length 24 inches. It did come with an adjustable elastic band. This is removable if you do not wear to keep it on also this is very different typically you'd have those little straps in the back instead of those you have like this little grip at the very very nape and I really like this because you don't have to um, worry about like adjusting those or them coming apart this kind of will suction and like softly lay perfectly at the nape of your neck and this is what the wig looks like on as I mentioned she is 24 inches in length all of the details are in the description box. I will say I love this one. I love the dark, rich color. This isn't just your typical like natural brown where it kind of looks a little bit sandy. It's definitely, definitely your bust down middle part with a very, very like nice black healthy look. Now this is the parting. As you guys can see, it did come stamped out as a center part. And because this one came with no lace, this is what it would look like to just put the wig on and literally tuck it behind your ears and go it for sure fits glueless and i love that you really don't have to do anything at all but you guys know this wouldn't be a hair tutorial if i just left the house like this now after it's installed we definitely did this throughout the week we do not you know bond and style everything throughout the week so that is why i love this one and why i love a good closure wig but you know for the video we gotta finesse and make it look really really good so let's go ahead and pull all of the hair back because this is a closure wig typically you'd have these like beards where like the lace like the end of the lace is and it's kind of that little thick piece i just cut those pieces off so they're not like in the way or showing now i remove the wig and i'm just going to tint the lace a little bit i did use a um, foundation powder and this one is the ruby kiss one i typically will use it did a little bit of work but it really didn't do a whole lot so you'll see me um do something a little bit different towards the end now i'm opting for baby hair typically with my closure wigs i love a good baby hair moment just because i know for the remainder of the period until i wash it again i'm pretty much going to be just putting this on and not really bonding it down unless it's the weekend so I like to have something in the front just to make sure everything looks good and you know people can't see my lace if I'm not going in and taking time to melt it so I am doing the dynamic duo this is the wax stick paired with the electric hot comb and I like to just go in and make sure everything is smooth and flat and just really looks melted sometimes when you watch me do this step it doesn't make it doesn't look like it's doing a big difference but it definitely is I don't know if you guys can tell the difference now I'm going to go ahead 
ahead and bought it down. You can clearly see that the wig is laying flat and flush and you don't need to do this. But typically when I'm wearing baby hair, I kind of like for the wig to be just melted in. I feel like it makes the baby hair look better, especially on day one. And because like day one is kind of like the process of like styling the wig. Once it's custom styled, you don't have to go back in and melt it every single day hopefully that makes sense so i did go ahead and bond it down with the spritz i'm gonna go ahead and just pull the hair back and put the melt belt on you guys can see even though i spritzed it down and i haven't blow dried it it's just still sitting the same so it doesn't make a difference per se with or without bonding it down again this is all just for the finesse and for the baby hair so while that naturally air dries, let's work on the rest of the hair. I did opt to keep this as a center part um, and I did go ahead and extend the parting just a little bit. Now we're going to go in and just do the dynamic duo for the rest of the wig. Just making sure everything is super flat and neat. I don't want it to look like an auntie wig. I really want it to look like a really good, nice, bougie install. So making sure that everything is just flawless as possible the dynamic duo definitely is a great help in this process and as you guys can see i will go in with multiple heat passes i have no problem taking my time here i just personally feel like it makes a, a big difference maybe you may not see a difference but for me it's just like i can't go without this step now that the wig has dried, let's go ahead and work on baby hair. I'm just taking an eyebrow razor and just going in and just making jagged cuts to make the baby hair not be too blunt. I'm going to go ahead and curl it away from my face. And I did more so thicker pieces around like where the lace ends since this is a closure. I mean, it only goes about four inches across, maybe five. I think it's four. I'll have the details in the description box. But like right there where the lace ends and the track starts, I like to do like a little swoop to like transition it a little bit more neat. This is going to help it to look more like a frontal than a closure. And then I did do like thinner pieces in front of that. I wasn't quite sure what I really wanted. So I kind of played here in this moment for a while and you guys will see the results of that. Um, It's not perfect here like off camera after the fact I did switch it up a little bit but it just works and it did what it needed to be done personally I kind of just prefer just those thick swoops and like the ones in the front I were not needed in my opinion because it kind of will give more of like the no baby hair look in the center and just again help that transition with those little side pieces nonetheless we pulled it together and I do like the way it came out but of course I did switch it up after the fact and I'm just blotting off any excess edge control. And now we're going to go in and just tint the lace. I'm using the Fenty Concealer. And a lot of the times people will just not prefer a bright parting. For some reason, I'm just tied to it. This is just something I'm used to doing. Lately, I have been switching it up and using my foundation powder, which is a little bit darker and not as stand out. This powder here. And it definitely will make a difference so if you don't want it to be so bright and stand out definitely use a, like a foundation powder or something a lot more deeper and closer to your complexion I will be purchasing the Fenty concealer in a few shades darker I think I actually have one in like 450 I'm gonna try that one so you guys can see the difference now that we're done with the install and, and the style of the lace as well as the baby hair I'm just gonna go out and soak the ends I did not add any heat protection or any products I highly recommend heat protectant to preserve the length of your hair also be sure to check out the description box for like lists and links of everything we used in this video we also have some coupon codes down there so just don't forget to check that out now here's the point where I lifted the lace it was bonded down but I wanted you guys to see that wasn't a necessary step it just was something I did for the finesse of it all and you guys can see this one fits glueless and I'm able to put it on and off on a daily basis and it just sits there like a glove it doesn't bother me I don't have to bond it down or anything like that Okay, love bugs, so we are done with the look. Look at the texture and how beautiful this silky straight hair is. I always tell you guys, whenever I receive um, straight hair, I like to just silk it out and enjoy straight. If I have body wave or loose wave, deep wave, curly, any other texture, even like kinky, I like to make sure that it gives like body and bounce and, you know, whether it's a wet style or a heat style i like to just give the texture so whenever i have a chance to um play in some straight hair i like to keep it straight and silk it out i love the length on this one it's not too thin or sparse let me show you what it looks like from the back As far as the packaging, this is the box from Eunice. If you watch my channel, you guys know what their logo and their packaging looks like. They also gave us some 
other goodies, but let's just focus on this first. So inside the box, you did get a mail belt. And it does say units twice, one on each side. You do get these really nice weight caps, and I like these because these are more like the thin ones um, and not the thick, thick, thick ones like we've been using for years. So these are definitely perfect for not needing to do necessarily the ball cap method, and this is the kind I have on today. And then you get this little mesh bag and inside. They did give me a second one of those wig caps I showed you as well as the melt belt. On this side, you did get a pack of lashes. Then you did get a kabuki brush that just says units on the side. So these are great things for travel and for, you know, looking good and staying fly. Also, my package, they did give me this nice pretty pink robe. I do have like one or two of these and well, I probably had like at least five or six of these. So I'm not going to open this and I'm going to share this one with you guys soon. But it does say units on the back and I believe it says that units like on the side above the breast. And then there's also a dust bag and this one here is the nice pretty pink color so be sure to check the description box there you'll find a link to this wig you'll also find the details and everything that I have on my head you also find lists and links of everything we use to complete this look I'm Ashley and I'm gonna thank you again for tuning in go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and as always I'll see you in the next one smooches